Well, now we're in a blue sky breakout. It's the market that never goes down, NASDAQ. Very likely Bitcoin dominance does make a leg up. Oh, so, okay, so if Bitcoin dominance goes up, what happens? Well, typically, Bitcoin gets a bounce. So I'm still looking for a bounce up here. Well, 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 welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from the Cryptoverse from Westlake Village, California. It is cloudy, it is cold, and my friend's visiting from the East Coast. He brought that cold weather down here to California. We don't like it. Go home. Go home, Mr. Sunshine. No, Mr. Clouds, go home. We don't want you anymore. I'm going to give you a deep dive into what I'm looking at in this market, perhaps where Bitcoin could go from where it's at today. Starting it off with NASDAQ, we'll take a look at Bitcoin dominance, Ethereum. We'll take a look at some of the hottest altcoins ripping and roaring up and up into the upside, up into the upside. And then we'll be done here. I'm going to put a timer on this one so I don't just blow your ears off with a long winded stream here how long should we give it we give it uh, 10 minutes tops boom that's all i got now so now as i get into these charts i'm going to take a look at nasdaq first even though it's been relatively uncorrelated and we did say hey look breaking this trend line very likely to revisit the highs well now we're in a blue sky breakout it's the market that never goes down nasdaq Putting in another higher low and a nice girthy green candle to the upside. TLT, the biggest bond market in the world, uh, taking a little hit here. SMP is on its way to make, well, it just made a new all time high. Made a new all time high. And we did say this as well. Uh, look, like whenever the stock market comes within 5% of making a new all time high, within 12 months, it makes a new all time high. So, we're bullishly biased on the stock market that does help out Bitcoin. Tether dominance, uh, this is all the money in Tether. When Tether goes up, well, Tether dominance goes up. It's bad for cryptos in general. So what am I seeing here? A bit of a daily consolidation range, ranging it out. I think I'm going to get rid, as that target was hit, the measure move off of this target was hit. So could this be a bias buster? Let's just get rid of all this stuff. The triangle was hit. Could this be a bias buster? Does suggest a bit of a bounce. As soon as we close a daily bank above the 236 fib, I'd be looking to run at uh, 2 at 637 for tether dominance that would be a first warning sign that maybe our poor altcoins are not going to do so well bitcoin dominance never made it up to the 618 so giving it a a chance here to uh swing it on to the upside let's take a look at daily volatility and we did talk about this after breaking this range very likely bitcoin dominance does make a leg up if we can defeat that purple 200, exponential moving average, if we can defeat that, well, that'd be another case for the Bitcoin bulls out there. Yes, indeed. I would like to see it go down. I would like to see it go down, but we want to just keep our eyes aware upon this. Looking for some divergences here. Two drives gives you a shot down to the 21 or the median of the range. By the way, like and smash the video, like and smash the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the algorithm out there to pick the video up, so would appreciate that. If you want to learn some TA crypt courses, uh, technical analysis 101 a beginner's guide on how to trade sign up for free for 30 days look forward to seeing you there also we do have our discord here where you can join for some fun 
And lastly, you can put Bitcoin in your IRA. All the links are in the description below. Here are the links from the description below. Oh, wow. Bunch of cool pictures there. Good job. My, my girl's just a wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. Um, okay, next up. Back onto crypto. Back onto crypto. Let's get in here. Bitcoin dominance uh, will cross up above 5091. So today, dominance will cross up. Mean reverted bounce. Oh, so, okay. So if Bitcoin dominance goes up, what happens? Well, typically, Bitcoin gets a bounce. So I'm still looking for a bounce up here. I'm still looking for a bitty bitty bounce. As uh, that's just what happens. People are bearish now. So very likely we're going to get a bounce. Okay. If Bitcoin bounces, Ethereum should follow. My Ethereums should definitely get a bit of a follow up bounce. Um, gosh, I really want to check that account. Do it on the side here. We got five minutes left. I better get going here. So our base case for Ethereum is a shot up to this trend line somewhere around 2950. The measure move off of this massive wedge, ascending triangle, whatever you want to call it, is up to this level here at 3169. 3169. And as long as we are, well, essentially closing dailies above 2200, call it, uh, I'm gonna move this line up here. As long as we're closing dailies above 2110, uh, bullish on this one for some continuations, but volatility is now declining and we're in the bullish control zone. So some sideways for Ethereum, maybe, possibly. Um, that's a weekly time frame. Let's look at it on the daily. <clears throat> again, volatility is now declining again. We've got uh, how many moves? There's usually three pumps. So three times we'll get that uh, max read on volatility. One, two, three, four. All of those have been a pump to the upside. So as volatility expanded, we got to move to the upside. Volatility expanded, move to the upside. This is kind of like one move, to be fair. And then contraction, sideways, 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 boom, another expansion. And notice as we get expansion, you expect that, um, you know, uh, that price moves in the direction of the stochastic. So. Where did volatility begin to expand? Right here on that candle as we broke the range. That was your signal going higher. Perfect breakdown retest. And now we're getting the same signature. Notice volatility is beginning to decline. And where are we at on the Mr. HPDR? Let's see if this button works. No. Nope. So daily range for Ethereum, uh, daily range, yeah, anywhere above 2,600, very likely. Any kind of a daily closure above 2,600, next stop would be 2,873. I would love to see that. And today, uh, if we do get a closure anywhere below 25,300, That'd be your first warning sign uh, that uh, very likely going to revisit the 21, perhaps the bottom side of the range at 2378. So there's your range. There's your range. I would consider this level at 2380 a major buying opportunity. And in fact, um, probably gets a wick down to 2300. So another major buying opportunity. But as long as we're holding this level at 2200, Things are going to be good and clean for uh, Mr. Ethereum. Checking it out on the four hour, perhaps getting a bounce here. Can I get a little luck here? Uh, let's see. 
Let's see, did I get stopped out? Cross your fingers, cross your fingers, and I'm still in, all right, all right, I'll take it. I'll take it, at least we're still in. We didn't get stopped out on that trade. Came close, very, very close. Very close, but uh, still in it, still in it to win it. So I'm goosing the odds in the favor of the Bulls. This is a buying opportunity. And any kind of a four hour closure back above 2550, looking for a shot to the top side of the range at 2586. We're gonna cross the next four hour closure in 12 minutes. If we can close above 2535, so we've got $5 left to go, $7 left to go, $6 left to go. That's all we need for Ethereum right now. And this is one of the trade setups we teach in the course on declining volatility. As you are approaching the green 55, you should get a bit of a bounce. You should get a bit of a bounce there. Yes, indeed. So let's go ETH. Let's go. Now on the other side of that, oh, timer's up, 10 minutes is up. Should we do another 10 minutes? I'm not done with this analysis. Two hour silver cross to the downside is gonna be closing here. So we have recovered slightly. Remember the last 10 minutes on an hourly closure is where the bad things happen, bad things happen. We're still holding that purple 200 chance for a bounce here. And we will cross up in the next 10 minutes. So maybe we wait 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. Play it on fast forward from here. Put it on fast forward. So if Bitcoin's gonna bounce, Ethereum's gonna bounce more. That's the anal analysis for the day. And you can see here on the hourly, you can see here on the hourly, <clears throat> Boom, almost made it to the 618. So I would like an official test of the 618. I wanna see it get all the way up there at 2618. I would expect a rejection there on the first pass. How would you know it's a bull trap? Well, bounce up here. If we lose that 382, this level right here, put in a lower high, boom. Probably gonna send it all the way down, <clears throat> all the way down to our next buying opportunity and where I'm really looking to pick some, some cheddar up here for Ethereum if you're an Ethereum bull. Um, here's where I would be looking more specifically off that 3A2 fib at 2,400 bucks. 2,400 bucks, I would expect a nice bounce off of that region. Um, so, Again, those fibs are looking nice. Those fibs are looking very, very nice. And we could even see a bit of an ascending or de pending pennant, excuse me. A pennant. It's a flying flag pennant. So, um, break of structure. Yeah, the not 0.5, very likely. Um, yeah, so we're kind of in the middle of the range. So, Volatility is just beginning to expand and we do have momentum to the ups, to the downside. We'll cross up here. So if we start to see um, this flip back around, this expand, then at the very least, I'm gonna look at a test of this trend line, which a $40 move at 25X leverage is a nice, a nice little move here. 1.6%. Today is Thursday, also known as the most bearish day for Bitcoin in Bitcoin's history. Thursday is the day where Bitcoin is most likely to close red on the day. It is 7.51 and we're having some fun. <laughs> Thank you.
I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Seven fifty one, we're having some fun. All right. Beam. Took a nice spill yesterday at, after hitting the top side of the range. Uh Looks like continuation of the downside and probably a test all the way down. Going for the full retrace. So I, I'm, if we lose this area, that would be the warning that you're going to come down a bit more. And when I say a bit more, I mean, that doesn't look like much, but talking about 8% right there. Neutron. Guys, this one's a beast. This is, uh, I've been saying it all year, uh, probably my top pick for the year. And I like to buy this one. I've noticed uh, when the stochastics cross up from below the critical zone here at this level, we'll cross up above 130. Looks like she's about to cross up. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pop back into some neutrons um, and where do those critical bounces come from well we could draw it out like this nice uh, descending triangle which technically speaking these are more likely to break out to the downside And uh, probably a move to the 0.5. A move to the 0.5 would be something like this. Boom. And see if that lines up with our good old Fibonacci tool. Yeah, there's the 618 right there at 116. That would be a nice area to pick this one up at least for a sizable bounce, but it looks like we could flip around here. Got five more minutes, five more minutes. Let's see what happens with Ethereum on that closure. We're getting out of the bearish control zone. Are we going to cross up? Well, we've got five more minutes to tell and that'll really goose the odds for today's uh, price action. Tia, I believe an unlock is coming. Uh, an unlock is coming. And it's, this is where we outlined a uh, possible buying opportunity for Mr. Tia as the unlock. The unlock is coming and um, yeah. All right, AXL getting hammered. If you're bullish on this one, 92 cents. Trap, getting getting trapped. <laughs> Another one here, um, gaming coin, getting killed. Arbitrum, nice pullback. <clears throat> I think if you only buy off the six one eight, you would be like a champion. If you just buy off the six one eight, you'd be a champion. Optimism. <clears throat> Broke the 618, probably going down more. Looking for optimism down at 320. Injective. On the four hour, major consolidation here. What does this one do? After a long consolidation like this, the top performer year round, injective pretty much, 
pretty much uh, for the year. For 2024, not necessarily, unless you bought that dip. You bought the dip here, 50% gainer. Nice steal off the 618, man. That's that's it. I'm only buying off the 618 from now on. I'm never buying a breakout again, guys. Okay, let's go on to the stars of the show here. Mr. Orca. Mr. Orcon. <clears throat> That's looking like uh, she's about to turn around, but remaining to the upside as long as we're below 450 or above 450. I wouldn't be surprised to get a full retrace down to 569 on that one. Ooh, and our other favorite here. Mr. Deso grinding up against that 236 fib. Consolidating. Now, if we get cooked, cooked, if we get cooked out of the bullish control zone, I just want to remind myself of where's my next target on this one at 5423. 5423. Be a nice area to uh, get out for a short term pullback. Why do I say that? Yeah, that's why. Look at how beautiful it, the fib tool works from the high to the low as we break out. We just broke out. So could we dance around here a little bit more? Ultimately, I am looking for this one, even if it does come down to the not 0.5 or the 382 boom looking for something like that um, if we consolidate sideways here and then start to break above like that um, so any of these areas major buying opportunities all right i'm getting tired guys the last one i'm going to leave you guys with called hive maper or honey this is part of the real world asset narrative the uh <clears throat> The coin was just listed on Coinbase, and uh, usually when that happens, what happens? The market dumps. There's the Coinbase chart. There is the Coinbase chart, and it does look like it's, a, to be fair, about to bounce. Good morning, Giselle. Um, what is up next? So I think Orca looks like it's done here with this current run. But after just a massive move like this on the four hour time frame, what are we looking for? Declining volatility will tell us. And volatility is declining. I'm going to let the position go. I should probably already do that. All right, I'm going to end it there, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.